So I'm here today to discuss your initial appointment when you come to see us at the urology department. My name is Kyle Wood, and I'm an assistant professor and a urologist. Today, we're going to talk about the initial appointment, medical and surgical options for your kidney stones, how we're going to work you up for your kidney stones, and then scheduling you for surgery. Many of you have been seen in the emergency department for your kidney stones, and a lot of you have experienced significant symptoms. You might have had side pain or flank pain. You might have experienced blood in your urine. Some of you might have had nausea or vomiting, and you might have noticed some change in your urination. There's multiple types of kidney stones, and each of these we treat slightly differently. One thing that's important is knowing where your kidney stone is located. Sometimes your kidney stones is still in your kidney. Other times it's began to come down your ureter, and it may be in the beginning part of the ureter, the middle part, or near the bladder. The size of the stone is also important, and the location and the size will help us make medical and surgical decisions. When we talk about medical decisions, it really depends on the size of the stone and the location. Some stones you can pass if we can control your symptoms, and we'll give you medications to help you control these symptoms. However, if you have a urinary tract infection, fever, or any signs of infection, we may talk about more urgent procedures to help relieve this, these symptoms. Oftentimes, we'll have close follow-up if you are going to try to pass the stone, and we may set up a two-week follow-up with a renal ultrasound and an x-ray. Usually, if you're going to try to pass the stone, we'll give you medications to control the nausea, medications to control the pain, and we may also prescribe a medication called Flomax or Tamsulosin, which has been shown in some studies to help pass the stone. In regards to pain control, we've really tried to limit the amount of opioids that are being used. There's been numerous studies that have shown that opioids do not help with kidney stone pain. And the same studies have shown that Tylenol and ibuprofen may work better. Given the opioid epidemic, and as a urology department, we're trying to limit the amount of opioids being prescribed because of their addictive qualities. If you are unable to pass the stone, we'll likely talk to you about surgical options. There are three procedures that are the mainstay of treating kidney stones. One of these is shockwave lithotripsy. The other one is ureteroscopy and laser lithotripsy. And the other one is percutaneous nephrostolithotomy. Each surgery has its advantages and disadvantages. Certain options are better depending on patient characteristics, the imaging findings, and the stone characteristics, including the size, location, and number. For example, shockwave lithotripsy, the advantages are we do not have to enter into the body to perform the procedure. We basically send shockwaves through the outside of the body that breaks the stones. So there's no ureteral stent and it's a same day surgery. The disadvantages of this procedure is that we are breaking the stones from the outside and so it basically leaves fragments behind. Most of these fragments can be small enough to pass, but there's always a chance that one of the stone fragments may be too large to pass, and you may require subsequent procedures. The other option is ureteroscopy. The advantage of this is that we can see the stone and remove the stone, so we have a high success rate. Also, if you have multiple stones, we can treat those stones. And if you have stones on different sides, we can also treat those. It is, again, a same-day surgery. The disadvantage for most patients is a ureteral stent that follows after surgery. The ureteral stent is a small tube that helps drain the kidney. The other option is percutaneous nephrostolithotomy. This procedure is usually held for people with complex anatomy or people with large kidney stones. There is a high success rate of stone removal. The disadvantage is it is a bigger surgery, it has higher risk of complications, including bleeding and infection, and usually requires a tube that goes into the kidney that goes through the back to drain the kidney. Usually requires an overnight stay in the hospital, and oftentimes if there's any stones, require subsequent procedures. To set up your workup before surgery, we will, we will need to check your blood and urine to make sure there's no signs of infection and also to check your kidney function. 
The blood work also may look at some causes for kidney stones. In addition to this, for your workup, we will send you kits to your house, which will allow you to collect 24-hour urines. These kits look at all the molecules that come out in your urine and help us work you up to help prevent stones in the future. Occasionally, we'll ask for further imaging if the imaging that was done in the emergency room does not give us the full picture. With scheduling, surgery is often scheduled within one to two weeks. You may require antibiotics before your surgery, especially if your urine culture was positive. Our goal is to perform a safe and effective surgery to help relieve your symptoms and to treat your kidney stones.